Hi guys, my name is April and I'm new here. I'm a mom of three and I really want to dive in and show you a little bit of a comparison between the mini, the original, and the square fawn design diaper bag. Um, when I first started looking up the square bag, there was one review on YouTube. I still think I only see one review on YouTube and it's a wonderful review, but it doesn't show a comparison between the original and the square, which is really what I was looking for because I already own the square and I wasn't completely satisfied with it. So I run across the original diaper bag a couple years back when I was expecting my third pregnancy. It ended up resulting in a loss, so I actually ordered the bag before we started expecting our rainbow, ba rainbow baby. I started carrying it throughout my pregnancy and then carried it as a diaper bag for a whole year later. And I do love the bag, but unfortunately, it don't it doesn't hold as much anymore. I do have two older kids and then I have a one year old. She'll be two this year and unfortunately our babies do grow up and as they grow all their things grow too. And so I'll show you actually I have a comparison of a size one not a size newborn but a size one diaper compared to a size five. So when I started discovering all these you know her clothes are growing her diapers are growing everything is growing with her unfortunately i started to run out of room with the original now i do have a few other complaints about the original i wasn't a hundred percent satisfied even though i still love the bag i did decide that i wanted to try the square and i really 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 was wanting to find better comparison reviews on the two bags because I don't like to splurge on myself. I make a lot of really big purchases for my kids nonstop, but as a mom, I often feel guilty spending any money on myself. And when I do spend money on myself, I really want to make sure I get all the bang for my buck. So the bigger the bang, the better. And guys, I'm going to say, I really feel like they did it with the square diaper bag. Um, I'm about as real as it gets. I'm on a three, so you may hear background noise. And again, I'm new here, so I have no idea how to edit these videos. It might be the worst quality video that you've ever seen, but I'm gonna dive right in and kind of show you these because I've already done enough talking. So, I've got over here the mini bag. When I first did this splurge with the original, I had ordered the mini, the original, and the duffel. I had the duffel for my hospital bag. I highly recommend that bag. It worked great. It does fill up very fast when you're toting for all the things that I had to carry, especially when you're having to make more than one night stay. However, I still use that bag when I go to visit my parents or anything else. I'm using that bag constantly. It's not been a waste of money and it's really, really held up. The quality of these bags are great. So this is the mini bag. My daughter, um, she loves it. She's nine. She carried it for her purse. That way she could actually match me when I was carrying the original. I did order the mini and the original because after watching a lot of reviews, I was really unsure of which one would suit me best. It, there was a lot of people who liked the mini and felt the original was too much space. There was some who felt the original was, you know, the other way. It, whatever. Whatever works best for whoever. But to me, they really both don't have enough room. Now the mini didn't have anywhere near enough room where the original did for a while until she started growing. So I'll show you the comparison and it's not gonna be the best. I am sitting down on my bed where I was trying to do this standing up earlier and my daughter was fussy, but she's teething and so she is sleeping right next to me. I'm not gonna risk moving her and waking her up. Again, realistic mom here. So I'm going to try not to get up and try not to wake her up while she's right next to me either. So I do apologize for not doing these standing up and showing them on my back and all those things. But I'll still try to do the best I can at showing you the sizes of these bags. So this is the mini, very cute. And this is the original. There's a pretty big difference in these two bags alone. Okay. So this one would be great for a purse. It'd be great for just one kid when you're maybe not taking as long of a trip or if you just don't want to carry all the things that most of us moms feel like we better carry or we're going to jinx ourselves. I know it seems like any time that I've not carried a change of clothes is when my daughter has a blowout or spills something all over herself. So the original diaper bag has been great. 
I'm not going to go into depth of the reviews of this product, but I will tell you the few things that I didn't like about it. I don't want to do a review because honestly, there's probably 30 to 40 reviews, if not more, of just this bag alone. I do have mine in the brown, so if you are seeing this and really want to know that, it is a very stunning color on this bag. I really wanted the tan, and they were always sold out, but I was not disappointed in the brown. I think it's very, very pretty. So, one of my favorites of this bag is the interior and the exterior is made of the same exact material. You can pull the interior in all three of these bags, or the mini, original, and the square. Ooh, excuse me. You can pull the interior completely out. It doesn't separate, but you can pull it out to clean it. However, with this being the same exact material, it made it so easy to clean. I don't have to worry about it. And that was the main reason I wanted this bag because I've been there, done that. I have two older kids and I have a husband that often wants me to put his candy and things in my bag too. And so if something spills in the bottom of this, I know how messy it's going to end up. This has been wonderful to clean. However, the con of having the same material is there is no stretch. So this pocket opens great. These pocket open fairly well, fairly well. But again, it's a complaint on many reviews of this bag is that there's just not enough stretch with this material. And so say if you bottle feed instead of breastfeed, not a lot of bottles is going to fit in these pockets. I think Dr. Brown would fit in this. I had a Mason bottle for when I decided to pump or started giving juice and water and they fit pretty well in this, but it was still a tight fit and honestly just not ideal. However, most of the, you know, again, each bag is going to suit a different person. That didn't bother me until I started trying to give water or juice. And it also didn't bother me until I needed a sippy cup. As she got older, I need a sippy cup. But I do breastfeed, and so that wasn't really an issue for me. So I do love that it cleans so well. The pockets not stretching was not ideal for anybody, really. Um, now, this does have quite a bit of space. You can see that. However, again, as the items got bigger, look, that's a size five diaper compared to a size one. So although this fits in a lot of places, when I'm starting to try to pack five of these with wipes, clothes, blankets, toys, snacks, medicines, this bag gets so full so fast. And although it carries it, it will carry it, it's still... A case scenario where I'm having to stack stuff on top of this and I'm having to pull stuff out in order to get to the things on the bottom. Now, I have enough chaos in my life and I just can't stand doing that. I like to be organized and I do not want to dig for anything. So if you're like me in that case, this bag might not be right for you. Again, you might not have that problem. I didn't until now. But there we go. The only other complaint I had about this bag is it is, I think, a whopping four pounds. So although that don't sound like much, when you've got this sucker filled with all of that, those items, this gets really heavy really fast. And I have been to a restaurant where this was not even filled with anything yet because I was just pregnant and the chair, I hang it on the chair and the chair fall over. It was pretty embarrassing with a metal chair. It was a pretty loud racket. However, you know, I, that was just really one of my least favorite things about this bag. Uh oh. Uh oh. Almost woke her up there. Still a possibility. So, now I'm going to show you the square bag. This bag is beautiful. You'll notice some flaws on mine. Don't worry, it did not come like that. I'm just very rough on my bags. So, the difference in these are pretty, pretty big. I don't know if you can see that actually. It, it is a big difference, even though it does not appear that way because of the horrible angle that I'm trying to show this. It is a very, very, very nice difference. Um, again, this didn't come flawed. 
There was a pen in the front of this pocket and we were sitting in church and I did not realize that she grabbed it out and was being very artistic on the front of my bag. So that was a bummer after finally deciding to splurge on this and taking the risk of not knowing if I'd like it. Unfortunately, this material is different than the original and the mini. So it does come clean very easily, but it also does not. So I used the wrong kind of product to get that off first off. That's what took the little bit of color out. Then I messaged Fawn Design to figure out how to get it out. They recommend cleaning their bags with Dawn dish soap and warm water. If you have to add something, a tiny bit of vinegar. So it definitely took most of the pen out, but it's still there, unfortunately. They said the ink pen is one of the hardest things to get out of this bag. Now I will say they showed me some patience and they showed me some love. I mean, for them to take the time to even message me back with how to clean my bag, to me was great customer service. They didn't have to do that. However, it definitely stunk to get a brand new bag for the price that you pay on this and it immediately be ruined. However, I still love the bag. And again, I'm not girly and I'm rough and tough on things. So honestly, for me to get this color, I was cursing myself and doing that anyway. And I knew that before I bought it. So as bummed as I was, it didn't bother me too much. Now I do want to show with me being rough and tough, look at the pegs on the bottom of this. They're pretty, they pop out a pretty good amount. I don't even want to say half an inch, but they do pop out. The original bag and the mini does not have these. So sitting it down on a surface, I don't worry so much. Even though my original bag, I've never had problems like some of the others have with it peeling and tarnishing and showing any kind of wear. I'm more excited because I know that it'll take even longer for this one to do that. Even though it's a different material, so I really do expect that this one probably would have done that sooner. Um, the pegs on this will really help prevent that. So I don't worry about sitting this as many places. And depending on a restaurant, I might actually feel comfortable sitting this in a chair or on the floor versus hanging it on the chair and it falling and embarrassing me. Now, it is a pound lighter. It is a pound lighter than the original bag. So I thought a pound, that's really not much. But guys, when I'm holding these, it's like a very noticeable difference. Like this one even gives me a little weight. Um, they're both still heavy. And don't get me wrong, I have a couple of small items in this right now. And it still feels lighter than this one. So if that's one of the complaints that you had about the original bag, don't feel discouraged with the square. It's not a huge difference. So if you feel like it's way too heavy with the original you might not want the square, but I'm, I really don't notice the difference. With the heavy, heaviness, I'll go ahead and point out, this is what the straps look like on the square versus the straps on the original. Somehow, so far, even with this bag loaded completely down, it has not bothered me. Whereas when I wore the original diaper bag, there was many times that my back and shoulders would start hurting. These straps really wasn't as comfortable. They adjust so easily that sometimes when I'm carrying it, they just change the settings. They're very soft, easy to clean. And honestly, I didn't expect to have a problem out of that. But with the bag being so heavy for some weird reason, I don't know if it's just because it wasn't as evenly distributed. It's kind of like carrying around a cinder block on your back. It really did kind of hurt sometimes. I've only had this bag for about a month, so I can't really speak on all of that. However, I've had it loaded down, and I do mean loaded down, and I've not had that problem yet. In fact, my kids carry this around for me sometimes, and they've not had that problem. They complain of it being heavy, but they haven't complained of it hurting. Don't worry, I don't make them carry it. <laughs> now, they do have this pocket steel, it is not near as big. You can see it goes to my wrist. It's the same pocket on the original. Unfortunately, it is smaller. You did lose a lot of space with this pocket. So that was kind of a bummer. Let me just show you again. The fun or the original. Now that one went up to here on my wrist. <laughs> this one, watch my wrist disappear. 
like that's a noticeable difference and it goes quite a more lengthy area too so overall this back zipper pocket we really kind of lost some space there now the only reason i think that that kind of stinks is because this is the pocket that i kept my changing pad in i do really love fawn designs changing pad i got it in the motherhood bundle and it's really a good investment as well and it fit perfectly in this pocket and i still had some room to spare the changing pad unfortunately does not fit in that pocket on my square it hangs out probably about one and a half inches so unfortunately i cannot put the changing pad in this now you can still use this pocket for quite a few other things just not the changing pad now the changing pad does fit in this pocket along with multiple other things you'll have a lot of room there and let me show you it doesn't start immediately so that was kind of a bummer on the original i had to pull these back just like before and open this sucker up from the top sometimes i felt like that was a problem because when you're trying to reach it was kind of hard to get to it's hard to explain and i may be the only one that's had that problem but it was something that i struggled with at times this pocket oh nice a sharpie's still in there <laughs> this pocket is fairly big but honestly i think it's probably about the same size as the square because it's you know that's about where the original bag cuts off so i think that they're the same ultimately however on the original you have this button which is convenient but also a nuisance i already have enough buttons in my life as a mom and i don't want more on the square it has a magnetic clasp very very nice i don't have to struggle i don't have to fight and i still feel like my items are not going to fall out not that they really would anyway because let's face it this is always going to be on the back of my body whether i'm carrying it as a backpack or on my shoulder the front pockets are much bigger on the square noticeably bigger in fact again a whole big area and it's very wide now when you look at the one on the original it's very deep too but it's not near as wide so adding this whip to it really open that up i can fit my really big wallet in here it's on the other side of the bed i'm not gonna risk waking her up like i've already almost done i have an all about benjamin's wallet it's about yay big it's from 31 and i can fit this in here sideways and it not be visible to people as I'm walking by. And I still have room to throw more junk in there. As well as the zipper pouch. It's a good space. I can fit my phone, many other things in there as well. When I used to carry this wallet in this one, it stuck out a little ways. So if I carried this on my back, I really didn't want to put my wallet here and us go to some crazy large place because somebody could easily just slip that out and i probably wouldn't even realize it because of all the motion going on and all the little beings that tug on me non-stop anyway so the square bag did do away with the side pockets now i know some of you are going to feel like this is a really big bummer because that's pockets that are missing they did add two more in the inside so it's really not we like we lost pockets we just kind of lost them on the exterior. To me, it's not a problem because you really couldn't fit many in those pockets anyway. So, they did add this pretty little pocket. I'm not going to lie to you. I've not discovered one thing to put in it yet. I know that a lot of things could fit in it. But I just don't know what to use it for. It's such an awkward pocket. Like, my wallet don't fit in it. It's made of a different material than the rest of the bag. So, it's almost like stretchy and it's not that big of a pocket and i feel like if i was gonna put a really big item in it it might affect the space in the interior of the bag so i don't really want to put too much big things in it but i'm also don't want to put like chapstick or lotion in there because i do try to conceal most of those products in a bag that if they leak they're not going to leak on the inside i don't want to put something in there like that that's going to leak and go through to the rest of my bag so, if you own this square or you invest, go ahead and also comment what you put in this pocket. I know there's a lot of options, but I just haven't really discovered what I want to do with it yet. So, next, whoop, 
is the inside. This bag is magical, guys. It really does have so much more space, even though you cannot really tell. I don't know if it's just the way it's laid out, but it's so much easier for me. They added this really big pocket in the back, and so if you had a small MacBook, if you're working, a tablet. I have a passionate penny pincher planner. They're really thick and quite quite big. I use the home planner. I keep mine back here because I really don't go anywhere without it. I'm constantly making doctor's appointments. I'm constantly needing to remember what's on my agenda. And so I keep that right there. And even though it makes my bag super heavy, it's just so convenient to have the space to put that in. If I tried to add that into my original bag, I would have had to put it back here in which it wouldn't button close, but it wouldn't have fit in the inside with all my other belongings. So that was a really big perk to me. Now, it also still has the zipper pouch on the front of this, just like it would with the original bag. Obviously, this space is much bigger, so you really don't need much for this, but it's great for chapsticks, keys, whatever. Now, I don't know if any of you have really paid enough detail to that, but speaking of keys, you know, the original bag does have this cute little key clasp on the inside. Let me go ahead and try to show you this. I know this video is really long now. It does have this cute little clasp. And honestly, I never use this for my keys because anytime I need my keys, it's to unlock my door. <laughs> My car door, sure. I don't need my keys for that at all because it's got the pretty little button that if I'm near my car, it unlocks, me for, unlocks it for me. But if I'm needing my keys, it's generally to get in my house. And unfortunately, I don't want to hook it to something. So I usually use that for something like my pacifiers or something. If you like that on the original bag, there is still a hook right here that that can be used for. Unfortunately, the clasp you're going to have to have on your actual keychain and not on this because this is just a hook. It's not a clasp. So, you know, weigh your options there. But they still have an option for you. It just might not be as convenient. I never used it. So, again, total win for me. <laughs> now, again, it might not look so spacious. I'm trying not to move this over and wake her up. But... This really does have a lot more space in it. You have the two pockets here. Remember I talked about losing the two exterior pockets. They've added two up top. They're not huge. You know, they go about my hand length. And these don't have stretch. But they do hold a lot of things. Um, my phone can go in these. Notepads. Anything that you're going to need just really fast. Because it's at the top of the bag. So it's really convenient for it's something that you're using all the time. Now. Look at these puppies, if I can show them. These bottom bags, they're deeper than my hand. Very deep. And the perk of that is, is the bag is also very tall, so if it hangs out a little, that's fine. These are very stretchy. I can fit bottles, diapers, wipes, clothing, tote bags. Or at least I'm calling them tote bags. I don't have my medicine bag to show you, but I can fit numerous things in this and not worry about it fitting. I still have all this space right here to fill, and I usually still have this much of the bag left and this much of my bag left. And I'm not kidding when I say I pack my house to go with me. I have a small mesh bag for medicine. I have a mesh bag with snacks like apple sauces and sque other squeeze pouches. I carry these really big diapers as you can see, that's much more space than what the original was offering me. I carry about five of these and a full pack of wipes with me when I leave. I carry a change of clothes, a swaddle blanket, some hair bows, my chapsticks, my planner, my wallet, a sippy cup. I can fit all of these things and still have a ton of space in this bag. It really is so much better, guys. I don't know... Uh, I, I'm not downing the original bag because I really did like the original bag. There was just a couple things that I didn't like. Mainly that it was heavy and uncomfortable to carry. Now, I really did still carry it. One, I spent way too much money on it to not be carrying it. But also, I tried another diaper bag for a very short period and honestly got a lot more room in there. 
It was just your basic cheap, like $30 bag on Amazon. But it was made of cloth. And so we were at a football game and it come a downpour and it bled through. And unfortunately, anybody that knows, any kind of moisture getting these and they're ruined. So you don't want to spend $50 on a box of diapers to go to some football game and get rained out and all of a sudden all of the diapers are soaked and you have to hurry up and try to make it home on an hour trip without her dirty in her diaper not to mention the money wasted in that um so the material of these bags really helped with that now i do foresee that if that was the case i might have the problem there because this zipper don't go all the way so moisture might still manage to get into this so the original is great if you're planning something crazy like that Again, this is just me weighing really odd options because the thing is, all of us moms have different lives. We have different amount of kids. Each kid has a different personality and a different need. Each kid is different ages. Every family has its own demands. And so my love for this bag might not be near as much as your love for the original bag. But I just had to do this in hopes that somebody else would see the comparison because you might have the same questions that I do or that I did. And I really, really, really was scared to purchase this. And